Welcome to Shadow Empress Tarot. I'm a messenger of the Most High with the power to travel through the shadow realms. I am here to guide you through spiritual warfare so you can achieve your soul's desires. What you need to know is God is my guide, truth is my religion, and my channel is intense shadow work. So if you are mentally or emotionally unstable, you've been warned. What's up, Shadow Gang? We back up in here. I'd like to thank all the subscribers, the likes, the shares, the donations. I really appreciate you. I had to get the good thing. Before we get to this mess, which is a thank you, a gratitude. But today, we're going to talk about a very despicable, ungrateful person. Um, destiny swapping has come up on this board multiple times. And I can't say, I mean, I have, I want to say, but I know I can't say that, that this is worse than any other time. Because they're all super bad. But when I, what I can say is that the energy from this one hit me hard. I mean, by the time I got to the second card, I, I had to hold back tears. Um, this person this person risked 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 oh my god it all to be you Oh my god. I I when I pulled this I pulled this before I uploaded a video and everything was there and I feel like I'm at a blank because I know this person d does not want this to be told. I know they don't. But we're going to tell it anyway. It ain't going to stop me, but... Let me bless this place. And if I had a dollar for every time I said, oh, wow, oh, wow, as I was pulling this, I'd be a billionaire. If you are positive, you better bless this place. If you are negative, you better get up on my face. If you are positive, you better bless this place. If you are negative, you better get up out my face. And all of a sudden, I feel so scatterbrained. I'm going to pause the video because I got cards on the other side of the room that we need. So, give me a second, y'all. All right, we got it together. <clears throat>
All right, I'm ready. This person going to hell. For real. They going to hell. The person that we're talking about today tried to switch wheels of fortune with you. Before I carry on now that we gotten started and cleansed this place, another thing I wanted to say before we get started is every astrology deck that I have came out on this board. This person really put a lot of effort. They really followed the astrology in order to do this. The amount of focus they put. Excuse me. Here we go. This person wanted your will of fortune instead of theirs. They wanted to steal your map, steal your portal of existence. Mm. Not only did spirit use the astrology cards in this reading, but the tarot deck that they chose is um, the cosmic deck. This person really, really used the astrology big time. This person either used or both, they used the astrology, they really paid attention to what's happening in, to, in the skies and or this person had access to your astrology chart, your actual chart, some way, somehow. Why did this person want to do this? The four cards coming after this Wheel of Fortune is wealth. You got the moon. They went under the moon. Rest from strife. This person is extremely unhappy with their life beyond belief. And illusionary success. They wanted success without the work. See, there's something different with your will of fortune and theirs. Not only have you done the work, but you're capable of doing the work. They literally wanted your energy, the capacity to do so. Your perseverance, your work ethic, your creativity, everything that's yours that you have accumulated in your this life will of fortune and the will of fortunes in previous lives. Mm. Give me a second. Let's start. In your chart, in your will of fortune, this person 
wanted your ten of pentacles. Your ability to manifest. This person, they wanted your joy. And this may not be for everyone, but in your will of fortune, with this particular ten of pentacles, you may be destined to meet somebody wealthy or meet someone that when you get together, you will accumulate wealth together. They did this for your, your happiness and the love that you are destined to get. I clarified that romance card and I got the moon. Spirit is saying, well, this is clarifying the romance card under the Ten of Pentacles. They did magic specifically for this. To fight you for what is yours. This person feels lonely. So they wanted your relationship. And I don't I don't do no stupid shit like this. So I don't know if in this magic they're trying to get the particular person that you were supposed to attract, like cloaked in your energy. And um, like they're wearing your treasure map, your will of fortune. And maybe they were trying to attract your specific person or someone like that. And as I'm asking, spirit is telling me your specific person because they would be wearing your energy signature. And this person would be attracted to them in some way. Hey, this shit crazy. And they did magic to become youthful again. Beautiful again. So they can move forward in confidence and to make sure they attract this person. I'm really getting a feeling that somebody, this is not for everybody, but somebody had your chart and they studied it. I can feel that. Hey, this is when I teared up, y'all. The moon. Spirit is saying they did a lot of magic under the moon. And I clarified the scared beetle. Rebirth, transformation, and growth. They wanted a full makeover on their life. They wanted yours. They, A, they were not, like, they were trying to siphon everything. Your beauty, everything. Hey, this person crazy. And you know how I know they're crazy. And I'm looking at this moon. I'm like, damn. And I clarified the moon. What did I get? The queen of the moon. Hey, check this. Within the span of two cards, we got three moons. But the reason why I wanted to tear up and spirit was like, you not being extra out. This is not a mistake. Queen of the moon. 
some bitch, maybe not like this, not for everybody, but they wanted this so bad. They sacrificed their children under the moon. And I'm not saying, you know what I mean? Like when we look at typical sacrifice, like, but this person, they offered their own children. This is a grimy ass. Let me stop. Because we ain't even started the reading. This dumb hoe sacrificed their children. Ooh, I'm not going to do it. And they petitioned their ancestors. And I was like, I, I know with some dirty bloodlines out there. And I'm like, who raggedy ass ancestors answering this dumb shit? This person called on some ancestors at the Seven of Wands for protection and to put in work alongside of them, offering up their bloodline. Seven of Wands. Carnivorous, tolerant towards other dragons. They petitioned the dirtiest of their ancestors. They did this willingly. Carnivorous ancestors like them. Tolerant towards other dragons. Tolerant towards other beasts like them. Fast and intelligent to help them move forward with this. They got the worst of them. Their demonic bloodline. Fear, shapeshifter that transform into what the person is afraid of. Hey, they literally were successful in getting ancestral help for this foolishness. I almost asked why would somebody ancestors do this? I don't even want to know. And they did. They came up out of the shadows at the two of wands to help this person move forward. And I clarified that two of wands and I got this. They really did. Some of their ancestors came up and gave them power to do this. They really did. So they could move forward and conquer. But you know what? Spirit and saying that was a bad choice. With this choice and this woman, this person is selfish. They don't care about no one but themselves, not even their children. This is the most selfish Thing I've ever seen on my table and when I pulled this with this choice this person choose themselves and only themselves and I mentioned this before that I like to look at uh, like you know murder shows and stuff and I remember this one particular um, serial killer 
that of course this person is a demon and they evil and everything like this but it was told that this this person was extremely protective of his daughter because he knew there were people like him that existed so you mean to tell me there are serial killers out here that will protect their children but not this bitch and that was a man the, 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 the kid didn't even come out of their body. This person is by far the most selfish person that I've had on my table to date. But Spirit is saying for the choices that they are made, there is no retribution. That's reverse. This person, when I said that they're going to burn in hell, that's what the fuck I mean. And I just heard they deserve it. Gonna sacrifice your kids and try to steal somebody else's destiny to be younger, to look younger and have a better body like you did when you was 18 and some money. Bitch, if you don't get another job and go work out. What kind of lunacy? Lunacy. This person doing this magic under the moons. I got three moons before I got to the third clarifier. This person is a lunatic and this ma magic. The more that they did it, the more insane they became. They want it to be at peace. They don't want to worry about anything. So they thought this was a bright idea to have a new beginning in this way. With the nine, <coughs> excuse me y'all. With the Knight of Pentacles reversed, they didn't want to do the work. They didn't want to do the time that's in their will of fortune. They wanted the will of fortune of someone who's already done the time. Someone who is near their time. With this four of swords and this knight of pentacles. Reverse, this is the laziest mofo on the planet. They really, really didn't want to do anything. They wanted to, they wanted to do nothing. With extremely, extremely big desires. So they did magic. Over and over and over. So they could get fire, energy, movement. So this nine of pentacles, this knight of pentacles wouldn't be slow. They wanted to obtain these things quickly. Because they are so goddamn lazy. Sitting up, wasting time, delusional, daydreaming and shit all day.
falling blossoms and flowing streams because they, the time that they have been here in this lifetime, they've done nothing but this. Hoping and wishing and hoping and wishing and expecting things to fall in their lap. Of course, somebody like this would think that this stupidity is a good idea. I, I need to calm down, but I don't think I can. Yeah. This silly ass person didn't know that your team is on watch when it comes to your energy 24 7. Palace attendance on night watch. They are not having it. Prisoner, they caught them. And they're going to have. No mercy. Because they tried to mess with your destiny. This person that you are supposed to meet, you guys are supposed to do great things, not only for yourselves, the bloodline, but for the whole entire planet. What you guys do together are, is going to reach many people. I clarified that royal wedding. And I got sweetheart. Even without this other person. Because. Even though it mentions you meeting somebody, it's just that you, if this, this is a royal wedding, that means you alone, standing by yourself, is you are royalty. Whether that is your bloodline and spiritual royalty. Sweetheart, you are high vibrational, a loving soul. This whole, I mean, another Reading about fucking with the wrong one. Like seriously. Sweetheart. And what is this shit? Ecclesiastic. You are a godly soul. And your team gave you the message that a thief was in your energy. You know what? Why else? This another reason why this person. Hey, this person silly as hell. You know why this person, another reason, there's a lot of reasons. They wanted to steal your energy. They wanted to be, move forward and be successful because this person wanted to look down on other people. And I'm not mistaken. They wanted to feel powerful so they can look down on other people looking down on others confidently what I mean by confidently is they're so on top that even if someone knew that they were looking down on them, there's nothing they could say. What kind of person is this?
a dumb bitch. They wanted the illusions of success. What's in this seven of cups? Look, like I said, they wanted they wanted beauty. They wanted beauty. They wanted maybe the, the energy they wanted to exchange with you because this is magic. They wanted people to look upon them like a savior. Like this may, may even be a fake spiritualist. They wanted money. They wanted this that six of wands. They wanted to be, they wanted to appear successful. And with these two serpents, they wanted to be able to do whatever they wanted. Not like, oh, I want to go, I want to go to Europe. I want to do this. I want to do that. Like whatever they wanted for good or bad, mostly bad. They wanted to do fuck shit with your energy. They wanted to dominate and torment people with your energy. What's what is this? And have no and they wanted to do it to be all like that, but to appear godly and somebody that people can look up to and worship this person started a war coming over on your turf they thought it was all play they thought it was all play play ain't no games Ain't no games. Thinking that you a sitting duck. It's not a duck, but you know what I mean? A sitting duck. Like, hey, your ancestors, your guides were not dealing with that. You're too balanced in the light and dark. And every time I see a zebra, that's what I say. But I actually looked it up this time. And literally, that's what it means. Spiritually, a perfect balance between a light and a dark. And when I tell you this person is going to burn in hell for what they did to you and the other innocents in their environment, in their energy to get what they want, they're going to burn. Their dark soul is going to burn for this. I clarify that. And you got this. This person thought they could do whatever they wanted. They thought the world was going to be their oyster. That the world is their oyster with that magic. This came reverse and I'm going to read it like that. They thought they could chase you down for what's yours. That's a no. What they did under the moon is being seen. It's being exposed. You can see them and other people can see them. Go on. Sacrifice your babies. This person is worried at the Three of Swords. And the people that got to help them are also worried. Pause in your journey. 
because they're all feeling stuck. A, they getting hit. They're getting injured. Their soul is injured. And they, that magic is hitting the fuck out of them. They know. They know. They can feel it. And some of them are feeling it in their body. All because they wanted things, money, tangibility, make your dreams real. Hey, these people, when I tell you, see, the traditional three of swords is that heart being stabbed. And look at this big gash in their heart space. Hey, they got, when I tell you their soul is marked, it's marked. There's a sword for each one of these dumbasses. Blinded by their greed and their need to, to be beautiful. This stupid hoe has hexed themselves. Be still and allow the enemy to reveal themselves. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They being revealed. Guess what comes after that? Hex and witch. This person has hexed themselves with their own magic. Trying to hex you. They have hexed themselves. The magic you seek is inside of you. Let it flow. All that evil magic came from inside of them. And that's where it re will remain. That's where that evil will flow inside of them. And that is what is going to continue to eat them alive. Physically and spiritually. They thought they was big, bad, and evil. <laughs> hey, you like evil? Lay with it. Kiss it. Love it. Sleep with it every night. Since you love it so much. Since you want to use your energy to bring it up. Lay with it. Lay right in the middle of that damn pentagram. Because the conflict is yours. The f sacrifice you tried to make is yours. Because the universe is not accepting your magic against this hierophant. For the second time. First we got Ecclesiastic. Someone. Who has a title. That follows the laws. Of the universe. The laws. Of the most high God. <sighs> I clarified the hair font. And I got the Knight of Cups. The Fool and the Knight of Pentacles. Hey, look at this. I was like, what? This person was trying to sacrifice you and really didn't know they were in the center of this 
pentagram. So they can come over and take the goodness out of your soul. Look at this fool with the two. Switch and the goodness out of your souls comes drop on their timeline. So that night of pentacles won't be slow. And look, this night of pentacles... Is on the wheel of fortune. The chart. Come and take from you. So it can drop right down onto that timeline. And they can start to manifest. They wanted to switch a rule with you. And look, this fool card is also on the Wheel of Fortune. The stars, the portal, switching portals. I can't make it up. Trying to switch portals with the Hierophant. <laughs> yeah, right. The devil is a fucking liar. Clarifying this devil card. I was like, oh my God. They sacrificed their children. And they called on the devil. Conjunction. This is the first card that came out to clarify the devil. Alliance. This person literally, literally called on the devil. So they can fly high. They literally made an alliance with the devil. And now, like I told y'all, they debilitated discomfort. They are feeling a. Hey, they are feeling discomfort in their vessels. Some of these fools where is it? I can't make it up. Some of these fools, they really hurt me. They starting to physically feel it. They go into the doctor for their and finding out they got shit and stuff. Heart problems. A Breaking arms. I don't know. Uh, they didn't tell me that, but like I'm with the bandage on the arm. Anything could be going on with their body. Like for real. And investigate using the devil, using divination illegally to investigate you in the darkness. I clarified this Scorpio. And I got the 11th house. No, it didn't go like this. My bad. I'm doing it the wrong way. The 7th house. Neptune sacrifice. And the 11th house. I'm going to read them across. Diplomatically, the idea, idealization of for humanity's sake. This person, diplomatically, they didn't use their emotions. Mind over heart. Like this person, idealization of for humanity's sake. This person knows you're supposed to be respected this person literally thought that they could do better no i'm like for real they thought they could do better being you than you could that they would be better for humanity you know this person is insane 
You know this person is a lunatic. How can they think that when they're sacrificing their own children? How could they think they could be any good for humanity? Relationships, confusion regarding your hopes and wishes. Relationships, confusion regarding your hopes and wishes. They really wanted to do this switch. Because they don't know who they are. They wanted to be somebody who knows who they are. Somebody who knows what they want, their hopes and wishes. Now, wanting money and cars and to be pretty and all that, that is not knowing what you want. When you truly know what you want, that is a part of who you are in this reality. Who are you, money? Who are you, pretty? No. What you want is the mark that you want to leave here in this earth plane before you pass on. Me as an example. If somebody asks me, and I might, like, on some, like, surface shit, I might say, oh, well, give me a big bag of money. But no. If somebody is truly asking me what I want, I want to help heal humanity. If I could help people get through what I've gone through with half the work, I would love that. I want, I want to cry. I want to be useful to myself, to God, and my fellow humans. Why? Because they are me. And what I want to show love to me in my entirety, which is you. What comes after that is the money. What comes after that is the beauty. God will give you everything that you needed, the money, the time to work on your body, the next beauty cream. But it comes, what you want comes from your soul. And this is a dark ass soul. That they only want the illusion. They don't want what's real. And the only thing that's real is energy. And what's the energy here? It's you and I. I don't want to go on a long rant about me and all that. But this person is hopeless and truly wishless. The illusion has Taking them over. Get a fair deal. Sacrifice. Do it for the future. They thought the sacrifices that they made. Was a fair deal. To give you. And the, the, they, they, the kids that they don't even love. They don't want. They thought it would be fair. For their future. With this 11 house. This person. Want people like they want to be like an internet star. They want people to 
see them and look at them. They want the admiration from others and they have no connection to others. If they could, they would sacrifice them too. They just want to take and take and give nothing. That's their hopes and wishes that they could get whatever they want without giving a damn thing. Not only do they want to take from you, they want to take from the entire world. The 11th house. Give me a second. Because this is just fucking. The world is their oyster. This person with this 11th house, they wanted your soul fire. Like they literally wanted to digest your soul fire for recognition. Recognition is your destiny, not theirs. They are a marked soul. They are a lunatic. And they are extremely demonic. They went forward with this demonic work. Calling on their demonic ancestors. For the 11th house. They This web. Like the, the internet. The web. This person may want to do something on the internet and they want to be recognized big time. They wanted to they wanted to weave this web and appear light to others. 11th house was coming next is beloved. Hey, y'all. They want to be loved online or something. They want clout. They want your North Node. And they were willing to fight for it and create a war to achieve this. If I get the 11th house one more damn time. This person shouldn't get shit from the internet. Like, <laughs> I don't know why this is in my mind, but maybe because I'm a little dark. But reading this, I'm like, somebody should put this person on live and smack the dog shit out of them and put them on world star. Now you famous, bitch. I'm sorry. This person is pissing me off. But I'm not condoning violence. I'm just saying.
this person wanted to feel, wanted to know what it feels like to have a little money. I'm losing. But they just gave themselves more lessons. Syrians, responsibilities, lessons growing up. This person just gave themselves more lessons, more karma. They didn't want to do the work. Look what they wanted. To be the boss, to communicate the 11th house online. This person wants to be recognized on lie. And they did Pisces magic to get that recognition. Instead of learning how to be responsible and mature and doing the work if that's what they wanted. This person is one of those influencers that will go to Dubai and let somebody dookie on their titties for some money. Look, a long time ago, I did this reading. And it and I should have known I was it was in the beginning when I first started YouTube. I should have known I was gonna be picking up on witchcraft because a uh, a uh, reading came through and it's called What? I just had a brain fart. It's called um Oh my God, I don't, look, they don't want me to say this. It's like, uh, the punishment is death. This was the card that came up that was just saying, this person is a part of that. The punishment is death. There's going to be nothing around them. Just a few and I wouldn't even call these guardians, watchers, watching them on this earth plane. Everything is going to be taken away from them. I clarify this. The judgment is death. That's the name of the reading. And I got the martyr. The bridge. And the jaguar. This person, with that higher font, you are a martyr type. Not in the sense of like, like um, the martyr in a very low vib vibrational way. Giving all yourself into like letting people destroy you. The martyr as in somebody who is respected for their sacrifices. And their target was your bridge. They targeted you to cross your bridge for this. Jaguar, spiritual meaning, I wrote it down. Power, ferocity, valor, prowess, authority. Like, they wanted some type of, like, Maybe you're a healer or something like that. Like, they wanted to be looked at and recognized like you on the internet. Being strong and helpful and loving. Even though they're far from it.
this person wanted to take, go over the bridge, take what's yours, and then blow the bridge up. However they were going to do that. Probably death magic. Evens. Mystery. Reading between the lines. Intuition. Grays. Vegans. And men in black. A. This person. Mystery. Reading between the lines. Intuition. They were doing illegal readings. Trying to find out, trying to find out about you so they can know what to do under the moon. And y'all know these are demons, right? They are. They wanted to be one step ahead at least. Of you. They were planning. The, all, the three of them. The three of them. And if you practice magic. These three. They were starting. They were starting the magic. If you practice before you. If you had something that you wanted to do on the moon cycle. This person. See what their hands are like doing this. Magic. They were asking what to attack. They wanted to know how to disrupt your peace. Solitude, independent peace. And they were they were doing so much illegal div divination, like around the clock. Stalking, intimidation, confrontation. On how to lower your vibration and a um a vibration of fear. So this magic could work. And they were doing readings contacting demons to find this out. They also wanted to know if this relationship had come into your energy yet. Look, they like, hmm, with that third eye thing right there, using divination to figure that out. Look at the three of them. All of them were doing divination on you illegally. You're too strong. Your soul over lifetimes, they're too strong for them. Integration, life lessons, emanation. See, you guys are the complete opposites. Them, they still got to learn responsibility. They still got to learn lessons. They still got to grow up. Grow in their emotions. Grow in their actions. You, on the other hand, are master alchemist. You know how to integrate your energy. You know how to integrate life lessons. And you know how to emanate that. And spread that correctly. You know how to heal. And you have healed and whenever you need to, you will continue to heal. 
this person, this person, give me a second, y'all. They getting on my nerves. Hey, this person cross pollinate Gemini. They wanted to switch their south node for your north node. Give you their south node while they take your north node. Uh huh. Mm hmm. This person shit is backfiring, and they want to move forward from this. They run. They want to run away from it. Like again, they really thought this was for play, play. That it would be fun. Immature ass. Demonic little kid. They thought that this was play. That this would be fun. To get some money. So they could be rich. And famous or whatever the hell is in their stupid ass mind. Unfortunately for them. You're too high vibrational. Look the church again. You're a good soul. A hierophant for real. And they got caught. Trying to catch you in their nets. They got caught. That This card is giving me that Pisces card. Uh, with the Neptune. The fishing for you. You're still... Standing strong, in love, and your destiny is still yours. You're able to use your energy to manifest anything you want. They plan, they plan with an OG. Little ass kid. Playing with an OG. And they are getting. The tea is being spilled on them. And they're getting erased. Because they played. They gambled. They gambled with death. For money. And judgment is being passed on them. They may be going to real jail, spiritual jail, or both. Because they celebrated way too soon. Choking on them libations, are you? And spirit just told me this person might be drinking. Drink up, dumbo. Nobody cares. This person focused magic on you. And that is something, too, I was going to pick up in the beginning is the focus that this person, I mean, the focus is extremely intense. They had on this. Putting out this magic and you are protected. And look, they are trapped under the waters. They are trapped in their magic. They are hella trapped. Spirit, trap them so you can get out of Dodge at the Eight of Cups. Continue to build. And so you can be at peace. Hey, this person, 
this person is drowning at the nine of wands. This person is drowning in their magic. They went way too deep and this dumbass can't even swim. Hmm. <laughs> Look, they want to come up. They want to come up to the surface and breathe. What spirit is giving me in my mind's eye a, they gave me a flash of like, you know, in the movies when somebody's getting their head held down in the bathtub or somebody getting their head held, held down in the toilet. This is what your spirit team is doing to this person. And I could just see their hands flailing and water going all over the bathroom. I mean... We got the devil again. Yeah. Drowning is what happens when you fuck with the devil. When you think something like this is on your team, it's not even possible. The devil is never on your team. Ever. Ever. The devil does not cooperate. This is like. Believing. Somebody got your back. That's not a team player. This part. The devil is not a team player. The devil is a ball hog. Look. Look. Me. Me. <laughs> Dumbass. This person betrayed you and they betrayed themselves. Hmm. Maybe I kill you. Maybe I won't. This person... With that coming after the devil, they probably, they did some death magic, especially when this stuff wasn't working. They wanted to do that to make sure the sacrifice worked. They had to give it up even if, even if they didn't get exactly what they wanted. When it started to cave in, they got to pay. And they want to be cleansed of this. And this person even tried to siphon your ideas in your dream state. Dreams and unlimited ideas. Because they are jealous of you. And your gifts. And your destiny. The two of swords, the choice that they made, begin to learn your magic moving forward. Hey, they joined some type of demonic group, like this is a ticket to Hogwarts, and they joined some type of magic, this um, very low vibrational magic group. In order to move forward. And these people were teaching them. 
how to use their gifts for bad? Visions, manifesting, meditation, how to manifest using dark magic? Yeah, look at this. The third eye, not the actual, this is not standing for the actual Galactic Federation, but collaborations, meetings, community. They got together and these demonic people were teaching them how to be demonic. Look, tall whites, uncertainty, distrust, guarded. Now these people, a hey, help this person, and now they all arguing. They don't trust each other. They're guarded against each other. They're at odds now, fighting. And they might even be throwing magic at each other. Because they try to manifest against a multidimensional being. Somebody that's connected to earth and the spirit realm. Look at the difference. <laughs> this group and when this came out, I was like, okay. Alpha Draconians, corrupt, unethical cults. This is a corrupt, unethical cult. And they're all going to hell. Because they did this shit to a star seed. These people, self, memories, identity, they tried to steal your identity and your memories of who you were from past lives. Like, just say if somebody tried to do that to me, I learned that what I'm doing is something I've done for lifetimes. And all I needed to do was come into contact with the occult and it it sparked back open. It opened for me. I, when I started doing magic, I felt it. And I just had this intense urge that I needed to keep going with it. That's because the memory was already in my soul. Not only that, it's in this bloodline that I'm in. These people try to look. Siphon your identity out of your chakras. Look at this again. Artistic integrity, honesty. Look, the chakras, again, they was really trying to siphon everything up out of you. Your creativity, your soul power, your identity. Dude, they wanted every piece of you. They wanted to be as evil as hell. They wanted to be a good person. Make that make sense. But they didn't want to see. Being a good person takes work. It takes a lot of work. If I didn't work on being a good person. I would have slapped the shit out of at least a hundred people. To be a good person, you have to put things in perspective. You have to act accordingly. And sometimes that is so hard. I know my dark side. And sometimes you might feel like boot bopping. Somebody will make you feel really, really good. Matter of fact, reading this person and the fact that I got to read them. There's a small part of me that feels like. If I boot bop them, I'll feel a lot better. 
Like, <laughs> I kind of do want to be the person to put them on World Star. But we good people. We know that's stupid. Keeping your own demons, your own darkness in check takes constant, consistent work on a daily basis. This person didn't, they wanted to use their dark side to become a light being. The fact that this person doesn't know that they are insane is beyond me. Maybe they do know they're insane and they don't care. They got themselves into a trap fast by doing this. This person is in mental turmoil. Turmoil because old Jack is up here again, an ancient soul. Peter, once an heir to a wealthy family, Peter was disowned for his close friendship with an elf and his friend was killed. He now spends his time seeking the familial magics forbidden to him by his father, the wicked Duke. In an attempt to revive his beloved friend, Peter has begun Dabbling and necromancy. Forbidden magic. Peter has the stats of a cult fanatic. This person disgraced their family. By doing this magic. And they, they're, they, they. Peter has the stats of a cult fanatic. They are a part of a cult. In addition, he may cast animate dead once per day. This person works with their low vibrational ancestors. I don't know if they still in it by now because these people are in trouble. This person, yeah, they in trouble because they found out that they are, they've trapped themselves. Now they want to do love spells, love potions, nine of cups to trap you. Look, they are doing love magic potions. Look at this. Candles. Look at this trap. Fishing, look at this trap. To trap you. They're trying to call you back. Because they realize. They have learned that these seeds that they have planted will not grow without you being in their energy. Them and that whole group, they are sitting around digging through magical information. On how to stay, look, they don't want to lose their positions in life. And this doesn't mean that they are all rich and or something like that. They do not want to be people living life life from a low perspective. They they don't want to fall from grace in the 3D. They don't want to be poor and shit like that. Yeah, they they're doing their research and they realize that they've been mining for gold on an old soul. And this is giving me the moon, reincarnating through the moon. They have been chipping away at an old soul.
And these people didn't, didn't know the difference between souls. That this cannot be done on everybody. Especially not an old soul with the title of a hierophant. Damn, y'all, they doing so much magic. Look at all these traps. Look at this trap and all these candles. Hey, they making love potion. They doing candle magic. Ooh. They trying to get you off your ropes so they can come into your energy and bite you and finish the job with their venom. Mm. This person is extremely focused on you. That might be too much to do. Yeah, I'm not going to get the cards. But the amount of focus, I'm a, um, I put the magician up there. There was another card that showed the intense focus. The next one that we're going to go through is the king of wands. But look at this focus. They got their eye on the prize. And you are the prize, honey. All they can think about is being you. When I tell you this person get up in the morning and they think it about fresh up out of the damn bed. Before they brush their stinking teeth. They thinking about how they're going to make this work to be you. Doppelganger, this card comes to life as an identical version of you, including skills, memories, and equipment, except with the opposite alignment. This person wants to be just like you. They want to be you. All of you. In every way. It's all they think about. First thing when they get up. Harpy is disturbing. You or one of your companions is kidnapped by a harpy and flown to a distant shore. Clarifying the harpy is this. They wanted to trap you and take all of your power, but you got away. Hey, this person, their life is feeling like this. All this is coming back. That magic is raining on them. And they are crying. Their life is terrible right now. Because you're still moving on in your strength. Triumphant. They can't believe what they're seeing. If you're on top. They know where that magic is going. And you smell they stinking ass. You're not going to let them back in your energy. And they need that to happen in order for this magic to work. For them to break through your energetic barriers. They can't do this from a distance. You have to let them in. Because this is so vampiric. This is so demonic. It's like going by the rules of the vampire. You have to willingly let them in.
Bishop Mondrian, a rising star amid the local um, amid the local clergy. Bishop Mondrian is a charming yet eccentric collector of holy relics. He is willing to pay a high bounty on the more exotic, dangerous, and diabolical artifacts, presumably to add to the pontiff's vault of heretical items. Through his relationship to the church, Mondrian has conversed with the devil princes. This person is doing magic with the Galatia. They are doing strong magic with the demonic princes. This bitch crazy. Mondrian has conversed with the devil princes and celestial beings. Through amassing powerful relics, he hopes to eclipse even the gods in power. This person is risking it all for clout. You called up on the Goetia for clout? Stronger souls that have become before you have failed at that. You think King Solomon King Solomon lost against them. The fuck? Look. This person is abusing spiritual gifts and power to obtain more power than they deserve or can handle. This is a person... Even if they obtain this power, it would destroy them. They're too weak. As Mondrian gains more and more relics, his power increases. While he has no artifacts, he has the stats of a cult fanatic. This person hasn't been able to gain anything from their occult endeavors. Right now, they are a crazy cult lunatic. I clarified this and I got the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, and the Fool. Did I clarify that? Yup. Mm. This person hasn't gained anything from all this sacrifices and magic. They are still a page of pentacles. They are still a page of wands. They got no money. They've got no power. And they feel like a fool. The spiritual meaning of the boar, a boar, life and fertility, but also as a savior. This person wants to be a savior. This is your energy. The savior, the healer, the martyr type, archetype. A shift in power, change in regime. This person wants your spot as the Hierophant. They wanted it. They wanted this new start. But they feel like a fool. Because they've gotten nothing from it. They look like an immature child. Because they are. 
Look, playing sticks in the backyard and shit. Like they a warrior. If you don't go in, it's six o'clock. The 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 street lights have come on. If you don't go in the house and wash your hands so you can sit sit down for dinner and stop fucking playing. They don't care. They got this intense focus sending their magic. Oh, I didn't see this before. Look, if they are doing blood magic, I swear. Is that blood on that wand? When I tell you this person has an intense focus, the Queen of Swords. This person wake up in the morning with you on their mind and they are focused intently on getting this magic to work so they can cross the bridge over into your destiny. Hey, this moon magic gonna come back and to I mean it has. Cause they're at rest because they have to be. The spirit realm has tied this wolf and sheep's clothing up. At the four of swords, they don't wanna be at the four of swords. They don't wanna be at rest. But spirit says, sit your ass down and shut up. Stop going to the moon howling. Because you ain't going to get shit. I clarified this four of swords. This person is in spiritual jail. And this may be coming back. On a relationship. Like. Somebody like. They in a relationship with. Don't want to be with them anymore. Are they messing around. I mean. Are, do, are you shocked. You going to try to sacrifice this person's kids. And you don't know. you. <sighs> anyway. Somebody. Is losing a relationship. That was important to them. Because you are protected. Look at this cauldron. Sending all this magic to you. And you're a warrior. With protection. Royalty. You got spiritual archers with you. Look. The universe is on your side. You got stripes. All that magic ain't hidden. It's got to go somewhere. Them trying to eat your soul is being seen. What they did under the moon they thought was going to be secret, done at night, is being seen. The sun is shining on that. Look, where is it? There's so many. Oh, here, look, we're right to it. Spirit wanted y'all to see it. What they did under the moon to eat your soul and to embody you. 
is being seen. They are a fuck. They are a thief. They have been caught and they have been tried and judged in spiritual court. The death that they sent is coming to them. It's creeping around the corner and they know it. All three of them can feel it. They could feel it. Death. That magic, their wands that they sent is coming back and they can feel it at the three of cups. They are at each other's throat. They are crying. Because they can feel it. They can feel it. And they feeling it hard. Because they did a lot of it. And they went through with it. Without hesitation or thought. All they thought about was what they wanted. All they thought about was what they wanted. Literally, I'm sorry y'all, I don't have better words, but they like, hey, we gonna get this. We can get a lot from this person. Fuck that bitch. Let's get it. They were more than happy to do this to you. They was with the business. They did not care at all at the Queen of Swords. Look. Look. They didn't care at all. This is giving me like, you know, and like the Asian movies where it's like the pretty little geisha or whatever, and she just she a really an assassin. This person, had no problems assassinating with you, assassinating you. This is Mercury. And here is the swords, the mind, no problems, no hesitation. And spirit is not hesitating, sending that death back to them because they attacked the wrong one. This empress is not the hierophant, but it's like Mother Mary, like, they really, they really went after a believer. Death to them. Now for the overall. This was, this was a hard,
got them. Them, them trying to manifest off of your energy and siphon, like, it really was a hard battle. And look, it, it drained you and left you lifeless. Not just because they got, like, all of your energy, but to fight this off energetically. Something like this, the kind of magic that they did, it tired you out. It stalled some things in your life. Spirals of manifestation. Trust yourself. They, Because this is what they wanted from you. Your ability to manifest. And the trust that you have in yourself. Knowing yourself. And who you are. In this lifetime. And over multiple lifetimes. Because that's what they wanted from you. New birth. Guarded. Vigilantly. Vigilantly. And it's like feeling like you have to grow and start this all over again. Like you have to paint the color back into your life all over again. Like you have to come to life and you do. But you're strong enough to do it. And Spirit is saying to me that your energy is going to come back, but it takes time. To get that balanced again. For you to get your energy to back to where it was. But they said. Don't worry. It's a process. It is safe. For you to receive. Dream. A beautiful dream. The world is your oyster. It's not theirs. This is them. They thought. But no. It's actually yours. You're getting your power back. And it's safe to receive. But give it time. Spirit is saying, when your energy comes back, you'll be better than before. That's what I have on my table. So let's see what else Spirit has to say. Hmm. I'll split it on the devil. Uh-huh. Scar's ass. Betrayer. King of Swords. Not all of those, for real. Eight of Cups. Let me take a look. All this person, let me, this betrayer is like 
stuck with their magic all around them. The fire burning all around them because you walked away. They're not in your energy. They need to be in their energy for this to work. And you know that they are a snake. So they are in the hangman and they don't know what to do. Because they know you know. They know you know. They know you know that they were doing magic so they could be they can get stability and rewards at the four of wands. That they tried to trap you. This is like, you know, what they tried to do to uh what's her name? Rapunzel. She trapped her and siphoned her energy, used her energy from her hair by trapping her. And they trapped themselves. The tower is that their magic trapped them. It didn't get to trap you so they can siphon your energy. Because you're way too powerful for them. Your energy is way too big for them to contain. Ooh. Mm hmm Here go that three of swords again. They getting it. They getting it. All that dark magic swimming around them. And it's marked on their soul. Ooh. Their life is going to be barren. They ain't going to have shit. Look. Because, yeah, how Scar got and made them deals with the hyenas. And then they end up eating everything on the land and destroying everything. Yeah, uh-huh. You want to mess with the Goetia? You want to call on demons? They gon' you got to pay. And you don't have enough. So now your land is going to be barren. Because not only are the demons coming for their shit, so is the higher ups. These people are going to be in five of pentacles for lifetimes. If they ever make it past that. Because these are some rotten ass souls. What else? Shit. Going to sacrifice your babies. What a loser. Sacrifice your babies, though? I'm sorry, y'all, but World Star! Okay, I'm gonna stop. Somebody need to take this hoe into the streets! Okay, I'm gonna stop. I promise, I promise. What's up? Mm-hmm. Throne. What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know? Mm. Mm, Revenant. When I tell you they tried to suck your life force and... What's up? Orchard. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Throne. Gain proficiency in persuasion and double your proficiency bonus with it. You gain ownership of a small keep. If you can clear it of monsters, it is yours. This person really wanted to sit on a throne. 
They really did. And they persuaded others to help them. To get that small keep. But it wasn't small at all. They didn't know how big you were. If you can clear it of monsters, it's yours. They can't be God. They went up against the biggest, baddest, monster there is. They can call on all the princes of hell. And you know what the princes of hell are going to do? They're going to tuck tail and they're going to bow down in the presence of the Most High God. Revenant. Resurrect one dead character. One aspect of their personality is permanently changed. If you don't see yourself as throne worthy, there was other people who thought you were and they know you are and they wanted what you had. Your ability to manifest. Pestilence. You're, you are afflicted with a contagious, disfiguring disease. The symptoms and methods of transmission are chosen. Look, this person wanted to switch their pestilence with your ability to make money. Matilda, this is a, um, she owns this bar. She has a business. They wanted to switch this. What's up? What else? King of Swords Powerful Person A teacher Harsh, harsh lessons uh -huh. Them as the King of Swords You as the King of Swords <laughs> Oh my god When I tell you God is a part of this. Queen of Coins. I know they fucking lying. Hey, this person is thinking about coming to you and asking you for help. World Star! This is what they want. But this is what you should be giving them. They just, they want to play on your pity. This person, Spirit is warning, this person has the power of persuasion. They will lie. They will say anything to get what they want. And they especially are doing now when they have death knocking at their door. This person has always taken your kindness for weakness. And they think that they want to play on your kindness to get back in your energy to make this work. Lick the lowest vibration, the bearing of books, sexual indiscretions, adultery, misuse of power. 
I'm taking this as misuse of power. They want to come kiss your ass like I love you. It doesn't matter what type of relationship. It could be a friend, whatever. It don't matter. They're going to act like they're good with this nun thing on. Like they're loving and good. And look, you know what's up. Like, what? If you don't get your... Look, don't get me started. If you don't get your stinking ass, the sin of wrath. Hey, and the spirit is warning. Anger, rage, inability, incompetence, and conflict. A hey, spirit is saying. That when, because look, you are, no, you can do whatever you want. But when you resist this person, they might lose it. And they ha they're they capable of getting violent because they're scared and they're demonically possessed. No, spirit, not all of those. Let me see, it might be. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sin of sloth is the laziest person ever to be on my board. Lazy and selfish. Laziness, sleep, tiredness, rest, relaxation, home life, lazy hoe. This is, they just re saying that this person is lazy. The sin of pride, a lazy person that wanted to appear and look good, keeping up with the Joneses. Thoughtfulness, planning, melancholy. They did this. They thought about doing this because they are sad, sad sack of shit. They are sad. They are a sad soul. Prince of birds. Friendship, help, helpfulness. And gratitude, yes, spirit saying this is they're thinking about this right now as a prince of birds trying to come into your energy so you can help them plan on your kindness so they can get this to work and so they can get this magic to stick. Queen of berries, fertility, a powerful female motherhood so they can take your abundance. Anything else? They cannot retri retribution reverse. They're going to burn in hell. I mean, everybody has a chance to learn their lessons and get better. Hey, but the, the feeling that spirit has given me is that the karma that's going to be given to them. Because see, there's a lot we don't know about the spiritual realm. And I almost don't want to say this. But I'm feeling it hardcore. And the reason why I keep saying they're going to burn in hell. Is because the karma that spirit is giving to them. It's almost. It feels like that is so much. So much. Because they want to make sure. That the soul doesn't make it out. I ain't never felt nothing like that before. But I think that if I like I take away from like, oh godliness and the good and the angels and everybody gets a chance and just keep it neutral. Like this is galactic, like universal, and the universe has laws. Fuck all that. Evil and good and all that. Just smack dead in the middle. There are rules. And there are universal laws. And I think. 
the universe doesn't want this energy in existence anymore. I feel like spirit is setting them up for failure. And spirit does that a lot in smaller ways. But I feel like spirit did this to them in a big way. They don't want an energy like this in the universe. They are setting this energy to be recycled. When, when the end comes, there are souls that will make it out of here and there are souls that will not and their energy will be recycled for the next game. And this person, these people are a part of that. What do we need to know, Spirit? Hmm. Squaring the circle. Know thyself. This person wanted to trap you because they are they were jealous. This is somebody close. They are jealous that you know yourself and they and they don't. Rebirth. So they wanted to rebirth themselves through your destiny. Look. They wanted to take your connection to spirit. Because when you're connected to the light, you know yourself. They wanted to take that for themselves. What's up? Modern. What else? Give me something for that. Mm. Give me a second, y'all. One more. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Damn! Hey! For them going under the moon and trying to steal your timeline to, they want, you know, like those places where at a certain time a day or a certain or once every 10 years, the moon or the sun comes through and hits the right spot. This person wanted to steal your timeline. For real. They wanted to get to your north node before you. For things, clothes, money, and they have been judged. They have been judged, and they are at a loss. They didn't realize they were shooting bullets at themselves, doing this magic. They did this magic. And it's returning and it's making them silly look. And they are worried. And they are 
losing it. All three of them are getting it. Anything else? They want a new start in this relationship, this friendship or whatever. Because they want to make this magic work. I mean, if you let this person in your energy, you're going to be a part of this judgment. It's going to come down on you. They're not going to skip that judgment. It might make it a little bit easier because you're going to take some of that on. But they, hey, they scared and they should be. They want to restart this. They need to come back into your energy. They've been doing their research and they found out that that's, that's what needs to happen. Healer. Talisman. Mm -hmm. They want to keep to that energy. That healing energy. They want to be the higher fine. Gratitude. Uh-huh. They doing magic. They doing love magic. Under the new moon. To start the relationship over with you again. That the healer. Uh, give them the key to their. To your energy. Mm. What else? Earth. What? Mm-hmm. Divinity and karmic path. Give me something for Earth. Hey. And I think this comes out every Destiny Swap reading that this person with this karmic this is a past life situation. You've been fighting this person on earth, in this earth realm, for lifetimes. And they've been attacking your divinity. Demons have been able to use them to attack your divinity for lifetimes, this karma. Do not let this person back in your energy. Fire, let it be done this lifetime. Let it be done. Home. What else? Transmute. And power. Spirit is saying... Protect your home. Protect your energy. Transmute. Because they're still sending shit. It's not hidden, but spirit with that color. When you lost a lot of color and it is tiring because you've been transmuting this person's energy that they've been sending to your home. Give me something for power so I can end this spirit because this is long. They trying everything. They so scared. They're sending shit to your home. I'm about to end this. This is long as hell. Hmm.
now this person, even if they don't get what they want from you, like switching identities, now they just want to destroy your power and your ability to have a new life. They don't have nothing to lose. If they can't have a new life, if they can't have a great life, neither can you. But it was always like that, wasn't it? When they were trying to steal it. Mm, okay, spirit. Hey, do not let this person in your energy because they want de this death magic to work. They can take your power through death so they can have a new life. Don't let this person back in. Do not pity them. If you see this fool licking on their knees in the hood, in the dirtiest, the dirtiest hood, I swear to God. If you see this person in the dirtiest of dirtiest hood, on their knees, licking gutter water, you bet not help them. You bet not help them. Tell that hoe to lick it up. Lick it up. Because ain't no water in hell. If this has helped you, please like share, subscribe, and until next time.